Where are you at, by the way, at the moment? Because you're, I don't want to mention you're, I can't mention you're, you're yeah, 35, you right? Yeah. It's less spring chicken, in my opinion. But <laughs> um, what's happening with your career now? Because you've got 161 in yeah. your caps. Yeah. So where are you at? And, and like with regards to international football and also club football? Yeah. So I think I said going into this tournament, I had a little bit of a knee injury. So I just give absolutely everything to first and foremost try and get selected. And then that happened. And then I said I'd just put everything else on the back burner. So yeah, I'm at the point now. I only ever plan to the next day so that's probably not a good good uh, place to be in right now but I'm going to have a holiday obviously I think it's hard to make decisions when especially when you're on a high after mm. this so I'm just going to try and calm down and um, yeah make a decision on, on what's next really oh, Obviously you're second behind Farah in terms of caps is that something you've got your eye on because I think it's only 11 that you're behind her. <laughs> yeah, well, I think Farah deserves that record, hands down. Uh, I think she made her debut when she was about 16, 17, and it's been one of the best midfielders to ever wear that England shirt. So I had a coffee with her before this, actually. We didn't bring it up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if anyone deserves that record, it's Farah Williams. You've mentioned coffee a few times, but not mentioned your... Is it your coffee shop? Yeah, so it's mine and my partner's Shelley. Um, so it's called Box to Box Coffee okay. because of the position I play. Um, like but it. it's not really in your face football, so people will come in. I think they think it's a storage unit sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have to explain that I play midfield um, and then tell the football story. So, yeah, it's in Northenden, which is in Manchester. And, yeah, it's it's been going quite well. And you get a lot of Man City players coming in, is that right? Yeah, we've had a few, actually. I know I always mention that Kevin De Bruyne popped in for a nice latte. Um, yeah. <laughs> Has he popped in since you've won? Uh, no, he hasn't actually, but he did send us a message and said he oh, would pop nice. in, so that's good. But, if I walked into yeah. your coffee shop, would is there football memorabilia out? Would I know it's you? No, so we do actually have... Somebody came and um, like painted a picture of me on one of the walls, but as I say, it's not really in your face. We've got a tube map where, I don't know if you've ever seen the picture, they've replaced all the names with footballers. So I've we've seen got that, that yeah. in the corner. So it's like, I'd like to say it's like quirky little pieces. Okay. Um, going back to... I have to ask you, because if I don't, I'll kick myself. Uh, there was a, a, mo a moment, an altercation with um, <laughs> Sydney Lohman in the final. Yeah. That, hence the joke I made when you came in saying there are cameras about and we can lip read. Um, just tell me a bit more about that. I'm, I'm guessing at the time it happened, you had no idea it was going to go viral on yeah. social media. Yeah, well, Kira Walsh said that I came on the pitch and was like, everyone calm down, just keep your head. We've got a, we've got a job to do for extra time. And then obviously that went viral, me swearing at that. But I do apologise <laughs> for the swearing. I actually hate swearing away from football. But once I cross over that white mm. line, I feel like I have to be angry and emotional to get my performance out of us. But she did swear at me first, but the camera was the other way. Of course, so. yeah. Yeah, That's always I do apologise. I did feel as though we really got under their skin in the final. You know, the moment I just mentioned, there was a moment where their manager gave instructions on a piece of paper and it went to about two or three different German players. And we, you know, our players kept looking at them and so on. Was that, was that a game plan before it just sort of happened? No, I think that was a Lesia Russo uh, tried to sneakily have a look. But I've been on the end of so many games, you know, where people just time waste, game manage, and mm. it's so annoying. So I'm so glad that we actually got to do that to them. You spoke earlier about Kira Walsh, yeah. um, and she, I thought she was fantastic. I mean, how good is she, and what is she like to play alongside? Oh, she's amazing. Um, I think I've played at her now at it's, it's City for, for eight years, and her coming in as a, as a kid, she went straight into the starting lineup. She's so talented. Like, I can't say enough good things about her. Going into this tournament, I was so excited because I was like, the world's going to see what Kira Walsh can do. But in training, the amount of times we're training, and people will just stop and clap sometimes. The, this, the phrase, turning on a sixpence, Honestly, I've, I've never seen someone turn so quick on that ball. So, yeah, I'm so happy for her, the tournament that she's had. And, yeah, as, as a person, I'll actually give her this. She's quite funny, um, which you wouldn't expect us to say about her. But, yeah, she's very funny, down to earth and, and so humble as well. Have you watched back the final? Uh, I have because I was at my grandma's on Saturday and she always says, I've recorded everything, Aww. so sometimes she'll put the games on off years has ago. she still got but, a video? Uh, <laughs> she still has got videos. But, no, this was oh, on okay, Sky okay. Planner. We've, we've okay. updated her. Um, so, yeah, we watched it back. Uh, Did we still win? Yeah, we still won. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to watch a game when you know the score, actually. Isn't it? Isn't so it? Much, yeah. Well, unless you're a Man United fan at the moment. Um, <laughs> where, where is your... Do you keep your... I'm guessing you've got your shirt and all your, your boots and your socks and yeah, everything from the game. Yeah, I can't tell you where that is. I might no, get but robbed. But you've, you've <laughs> kept it, yeah? Uh, yeah, I've kept it, but I'll let you into a secret that my final shirt... We all put the... Because you get two shirts. We'll put the clean one on for the party after and it's actually covered in red wine at the minute. So okay. I might have to get some vanish on that. Well, that's understandable. I mean, the celebrations, I'm surprised 
surprised they've stopped now because it was just it's one of the greatest moments not just mm. in women's sport but just in British sport as well it's just fantastic um, what what about for you just briefly next because if you, you don't know what's going to happen with regards to your football international club have you thought about getting into the media have you thought about getting into radio yeah I would love to do uh, love to do media I think I can chat for England so yeah like being on here now um, I love coming and obviously chatting to you guys so yeah we'll see I think there's a lot of the women's players have, have gone into the media and I think they're doing a great job mm. Farrah Williams Alex Scott uh, Rachel Brown so yeah maybe but I always see when I finish playing I always I know this sounds cheesy but I always think your happiness is the main thing so mm. I'd like to try my hand at a few things and then whatever makes us the happiest I'd like to do Okay, well, listen, um, I think you'll be great. I think you'll be great on radio as well. I know Ben is a little bit worried now. And you'd bring the coffers in as well. Well, I'll be sitting in your seat. On the back. <laughs> don't think that's yeah, we're getting rid of you. <laughs> Thanks very much. I thought we'd get on somewhere. Hey, Jill, listen, um, I'm sure I'm going to be the millionth person to say it to you, but congratulations. Thank it's you. just, it was great to watch. You know, I have no idea what it was like to be a part of, but, you know, from myself, from an outsider, just watching in, it was just a, a glorious moment, a great afternoon, a great tournament as well. So congratulations, yeah. well done. Thanks for all your support on TalkSport as well, because oh, I know you kept nice. following the games and everything. Yeah, so. we had them all live as well. I mean, it took the sports bar with Jason Cundy and, and, and Jamie Harr, they were taking calls on it. Wow. And and it was they were inundated. They moved stuff up. I mean, the amount of people that just got involved in women's football, it's just it, you and the rest of the team have done wonders for women's football in this country. Thank so you. congratulations to you. Well done. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.